MLB Advanced Media, and Baseball's Big Data Cloud, next on At The Intersection. Hi, I'm Ken Jennings, host of At The Intersection, a series where cutting edge IT meets cloud and big data. In Major League Baseball, every pitch, every hit, every run, every error translates into multiple statistics. And with 30 teams playing 162 games per year, that adds up to a lot of data, big data. And all that big data gets crunched in real time and turned into a sophisticated, social media savvy website and immersive mobile experience that uses technology to stay ahead of the curve. We'll find out how they do it on this episode of At The Intersection. One four hundredth of a second. That's how long it takes, on average, for the ball to travel from the pitcher's hand to 60 feet 6 inches to the plate in a Major League Baseball game. In just that four hundredth of a second, thousands of data points are analyzed and recorded for coaches, players, and most importantly, the fans. The pitcher moves his arm 300 times a game, so that's 300 plays every game times 15 games a day times you know 2,430 games a season. That's a lot of data that anybody might see, and you just don't know what they might want to see, and we've got to let them find it all. Perhaps more than any other sports fans, baseball fans are fanatical about statistics. And MLB.com and the MLB mobile apps, created by MLB Advanced Media, known in the industry as BAM, give them a lot of stats, along with live and replay video, interactive games, merchandise, as well as the scores. That's a lot of data. BAM technology has been one step ahead of the curve from its inception. We bet on video in 2002, when, before most folks were even looking at video. And then we bet on mobile in 2005 when we brought people over, three years before the iPhone has even started. Half our traffic's on the phone, and that's going to grow to 80, 90 percent. Anybody under the age of 20, it is their primary screen. With over 3 million paid subscribers and 12 million visitors a day, MLB.com and the MLB mobile apps have been a big hit with fans by offering services like live streaming of up to 15 games a day, a feature that delivers HD quality images from a fiber optic network connected to every broadcast truck at every ballpark. Stats and analysis of all those games, a choice of broadcast game feeds for audio, either TV or radio. Interactive games like pre-play, which lets you guess on the outcome of a pitch in real time versus other fans. And beat the streak, MLB.com's most popular fantasy game, where fans compete to break the all-time hitting streak and try to win $5.6 million. BAM will sell over 37 million tickets online this year to make it easy for fans to get to the ballpark. Ticketing is a huge part of what we do, probably the most important thing of what we do, and we continue to advance the technology to make it easier and easier for fans to purchase tickets on any device they are, and again, enter the park now with any device you have. And once those fans are at the ballpark, BAM's At The Ballpark app shows you all the amenities, food and beverage stands, souvenirs, restrooms, and parking. At some parks, you can buy food, pay online, and have it delivered to your seat. BAM's most popular app, At Bat, is the highest grossing app on iOS. It's both data intensive and time critical because of its real-time stats, pitching analysis, and mobile video replay. So you're at a game and you see some bang bang play at first base, you want to see the replay. You know, we've tasked our technology team to capture and code, turn that around and get that to a device inside the stadium in 15 seconds. Because after 30 seconds, it's a new play. That means moving data faster. The real-time pitching analysis is generated by a data-intensive system called PitchFX. Every pitch in every game is recorded by three cameras, shooting 40 frames of each pitch. Using artificial intelligence, the system determines speed, type of pitch, drop, where it lands in the box, and more, with over 90% accuracy. That data is matched to game data generated by a statistician at the stadium, and then again by staff entering data at the BAM office. BAM is now beta testing FieldFX, a new service that records and analyzes every defensive move in the field using cameras and radar. It's a complex undertaking that will exponentially increase the amount of big data generated per game. Now every time the pitcher moves his arm, you've got players moving. Sometimes the ball's hit to him, sometimes it's not. But almost every time the player's moving, just either just before the pitch or as the batter is getting ready to swing. So it is a lot more data that we want to capture, but it'll make It'll be better for the fans. They'll understand what players are doing. That's why going to a game is so much fun. You get to see nine players at once, as opposed to what you see on TV, which is just 
the pitcher and to give them some context I think is gonna be important. It's a very big challenge uh, because certain technologies just simply don't scale to that kind of data. And so we're looking at things more like what people use for, let's say, high particle physics co you know, collisions, like you would use at the super collider or something like that, because the, the nature of the physics is much more like what the players running around on the field are than it is a box score. Combining all of BAM's streaming video, mobile apps, games, and other features, they generate eight to nine terabytes per game, an astounding 1.5 petabytes of data every year. Well, that's where I think big data and the real challenges are, is to take this unstructured mess and turn it into something that is uh, synthetic and interesting to the user that actually describes the effect that's happening. Timeliness, the ability to federate, the ability to weave all of those diverse data sets into a narrative that actually makes sense to the fan, that's where the challenge and the innovation comes in. That's what BAM, in fact, does. It weaves all this complex big data into seamless and transparent online programming dramatically improving the MLB fan experience. In the app world, if you have great content but present it poorly, no one's gonna pay attention to you. And se secondly, if you have great technology, you have a beautiful app but nothing worthwhile to look at, no one's gonna come either. So you need both. You need to have the technology first and foremost in order to present this on all these devices and all these operating systems. But if we didn't have something as glorious as baseball, we would probably be a much smaller company. We probably wouldn't be here. Baseball and big data. Bob Bowman says they're trying to give fans what every manager knows in his gut, with data. And you thought Moneyball was cool. Funding for At the Intersection is provided by Intel and by EMC.